Are you ready to catch this beautiful sunrise coming soon with me? Hello, my name is Anne and you are welcome and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to salute the sun according to the Degasque method. So we are going to lengthen the spine and keep the maximum of lengthening during all the practice in order to protect our pelvic floor, our back from unnecessary load and pressure and also to benefit from a correct breathing during the practice. So are you ready? Let's begin with a small warm up to get rid of the morning stiffness of the, of the body. I don't know about you, I need a good stretch in the morning. So stand up on your mat, in the middle of your mat, stay in front of me, I'm just going to turn for you on the side. Feet hip wide apart, bring your big toes slightly in so the outer edge of your feet are parallel. Spread your toes and root your feet to the mat. Chin slightly in, top of the head up, back of your head is slightly pushing backward like you had the wall behind you. Relax your jaws, lower your shoulders, externally rotate your arms and now turn only in your palms so they are facing your thighs, fingers pointing down. Now we're going to lengthen the spine. So we're going with the exhalation to push the mat and to push up the sky with the head in the same time. But before that, we need to contract our pelvic floor muscle in order to pull our table in. And those actions together are going to lengthen your spine. So first, contract your pelvic floor muscle like to retain a need. Then exhale, pushing both directions in the same time. Great. Then relax your belly to the inhalation. And now turn your head right and left, drawing an horizontal line with your nose, keeping a long neck. Getting rid of the stiffness of the neck, maybe in the morning. A little bit more. Great. And now lower your shoulders. Exhale to the mouth if you can. And send your arms to the level of your shoulders. And try not to send your fingertips forward. And at the same time, your shoulders are moving backward. So feel this extension of your arms. Inhale. And exhale again. Send your arms up. Palm facing each other. I hope I am not out of the frame. If not, I'm sorry for that. So here we are. Exhale, lower your shoulders and then relax from the side. Let your belly in there. Exhale up, like the movement of your diaphragm. Exhalation is moving up. So we are doing the same with your arms and relaxing from the side as your diaphragm is contracting and coming down into the inhalation. So exhale up as your diaphragm in and from the side. Exhale up and inhale and continue with this movement. Maybe a little bit faster if you can to warm up the synovia of your shoulder and also to have some blood, some improve of the blood circulation. It's good in the morning. And try to keep stable with your body. That's why not when your arms are rising up, don't throw your belly forward. Try to keep stable. And with keeping you stable, your abs. So you earn abs work on the way. A little bit more, two more, one more. Great. And now make circles in front of your bust. Keep your stability like you're cleaning a window. And reverse side. Maybe inward now if it was outward. Perfect. And now we're going to warm our wrists. Open widely your palms and turn in one direction. Maybe we'll feel that in your forearms and then reverse. Great. And now make a fist one in front of the other. Lower your shoulders. And now we're making wind. <laughs> making the circles from our elbow. in one direction and then reverse great perfect now make more space between your legs palms on your hips and free your pelvis making circles try to keep your head stable like it's a pink spot if you were looking from above you will see a pond 
and the circles around this point. And change, reverse the direction. Great, a little bit more if it's needed in the morning. Perfect, now stick your legs together, join your legs, ankles on which I'm turning again for you. And chin slightly on top of the head up. Again, we are going to contract the pelvic floor muscle, so our tailbone is going to be pulled in. So contract your pelvic floor muscle, like to return in it. Exhale, pushing in both direction. And now imagine you have a tray on your head and you want to keep this tray. And bend your knees. Keep bending until the, the flexion of your ankle is going to stop you at some point. Place your palms on your thighs. Send your buttocks a little bit backward, but keep your back very straight. Don't arch and don't round, just straight. And begin to make those circles with your knees warming both knees and ankles and a little bit more and reverse i think this sunrise is coming very very soon great and relax and now swing from side to side Shifting your body from side to side, soft knees. Relaxing your arms completely. Swinging. Perfect. And now, oh, we're staying on one side, up. Try to push the mat. Try to have your hips on the same line. It will help to have your big toe on the same line. And try to reach the sky. Reach up, up and more up, lower your shoulders and send your chin slightly in, turn your head and take it a little bit backward like you're the wall behind you, looking at your armpit and breathe there. Try to reach the sky more, pushing with your big toe and rooting your left feet. This is my left one. My left arm is up, but you can begin from the other side, of course. Then relax and up to the other side. Up. Again, don't twist with your hips. Stay up with your hips on the same line. And then turn your head slightly in and breathe. And again here. And now we're going to add something, your free palm. Place it on your rib cage and push gently your rib cage up in the direction of you of the arm that is up. For me, this is my left one up. Here, and breathe. Feel the movement in your belly and the movement of your rib cage. Try to exhale to the side that is the palm is on your rib cage and inhale in the opposite side. Head. Great. And here we are again. Up. Palm on your rib cage and up. And relax down. Pushing gently on your rib cage, of course. A little bit more. Exhale. Every time you exhale, try to send your rib cage a little bit more up in the direction of your right palm. Great. And relax. I know I'm turning again. This is coming out. This is beautiful. Interlace your fingers, thumbs together. Exhale, sending your palms forward. Again, contract your pelvic floor muscle. Exhale, lengthen your spine. Then send your arms up. Be careful if you have sensitive shoulders and push a little bit more to the sky. Externally rotate your arms. So now your biceps are looking to your ears and try to push a little bit more up. And then if you can, try to take your arms a little bit more backward. Be careful if you have sensitive shoulders. Keeping your long neck. Then relax. Down, change the crossing of your fingers. It's good for the shoulders. Exhale up. And again, extend it out at your arms. And now try to send them a little bit more backward. 
Please keep stability with your body. Don't throw your belly forward and relax. And loop your shoulders backward and send your arms backward. Again, keep your stability. Don't be here, please. Lower your shoulders. Don't be here also. And try to press your hands like you had a ball between your hands. Pressing and exhaling. One more time. Press and exhale. And then interlace your fingers behind your back if you can. And try to reach up with your arms. Rise up. Lower your shoulders. Try to rise up a little bit more. Find the range of motion that is appropriate to you, of course. And then relax. Perfect. So now we're going to stretch a little bit this famous back muscular chain and prepare to Uttanasana. So stay just where you are, placing your thumbs into your groin fold because we are going to bend around this axe like you're the wheel here. So bend slightly your knees, sending your buttocks backward, exhale, keeping a long line between the, your back and your head. Chin slightly in and back of the head is pushing up and top of the head is pushing forward. And sitting long time, pushing backward. Yes, a lot of direction here. Then place your palms on your thighs. Exhale, push onto those palms and push onto those feet to rise up with your back completely straight. And again, so now we're going to take inhale here and exhale up. Inhale here, exhale up. Keeping your back completely straight and working around this axe. Learning to bend from here and to rise up from here. So, twice more. And stay here for six, five, four, three, two, one. Trying to push a little bit more with those thumbs. And take your, loop your shoulders backward. Don't drop them down. And then interlace your fingers behind your buttocks and contract those baby flower muscles. Exhale, pushing onto the feet, helping with your hands to push, to rise up. Like you were a Playmobil man. Again, exhale. Stay here for six, five, four, three, two, one. Interlace your fingers behind, contract your pelvic floor muscles so your tailbone is going to pull in and help with the hand. Exhale, up. And again, six, Five, four, three, two, one. Exhale up. Exhale and breathe here for six, five, four, three, two, one. Exhale up. Last one. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Stay more for six, five, four, three, two, one. Then relax down. Belly, chest. Exhale here. Neck, shoulders, head down, belly is on your thighs. Please don't be here. You are putting a lot of strain on your back here. So relax completely. Now your back is relaxing with the gravity. And have a nice stretch. And you are making space between your vertebras. Hug your elbows and swing from side to side. Relaxing completely. This is the best relaxation for your neck. Your head is completely free. Great. And place your palms on your legs and push with those palms into your legs. So your back now is completely straight. Lower slightly your buttocks. So when I lower my buttocks, my head is moving up and the opposite. I'm keeping my back completely straight. And then interlace your fingers behind your back. Contract your pelvic floor muscle. Excellent. Push onto those legs and help with the hands. Great. Perfect. You know what? I think we're ready for a sun salutation. So, step in the front of your mat. And again, we're going here to lengthen the spine. So, feet hip wide apart. Big toes slightly in. And spread your toes. Root your feet to the mat. Chin, top of the head. Back of your head, pushing slightly backward. Relax your jaws. Lower shoulders, externally rotate your arms and inward on your palms. So they are facing your thighs. Fingers are pointing down. Lower your shoulders. Then close your eyes for a moment. Contract your pelvic floor muscle. Exhale, pushing in both directions, earth and the sky. And then relax your belly. Inhale. 
Find your stability. Tadasana, the mountain pose. The first pose of the sun salutation. Like the mountain, you can find stillness, calmness, strength, stability. All of those are in you. You just need to search and to find your own mountain. Open slowly your eyes. Exhale to the mouth, sending your arms to the level of your shoulders. Inhale, and then exhale again. Try to send your fingers more forward, and at the same time your shoulders are moving backward. And continue the movement up. If I am a little bit out of the frame, excuse me for that, but I will show you what's needed. Now join your palms together in a prayer position. Inhale, and bring your palms to your chest. Stay just where you are. Here. Exhale, inward your fingers to the chest, lower your shoulders, your palms are in contact, and then continue the movement a little bit down, fingers pointing down, and then slide with your palms in front of your face, keeping contact between your fingers, and placing your palms behind the head and neck. Open your elbows, push slightly with the back of your head into your palms. Inhale to your chest, to your heart. Exhale, bending from the same point as we did before, sending your buttocks backwards, keeping your back completely straight, bending only from here like you are the wheel there. Exhale, inhale, stay here a little bit more, just relax your palms, place them on your legs and push with your palms there. Shoulders are moving backward, don't drop them. Ada Uttanasana, half of the way to Uttanasana. Try to send your buttocks a little bit more backward. And then relax down, belly, chest, neck, head and shoulders to Uttanasana, folding forward. Keep your belly on your thighs. Don't be here, please. Protect your back. On your next exhalation, step back with your right leg. Into the lunge, lower your buttocks. Loop your shoulders backward, chin slightly in. And then if you have something in this knee, please place some yoga blanket on your mat and then bend your knee on the mat and flat your foot. Lift your right knee a few centimeters and place it a little bit inward into your mat. So it will help to adjust your pelvis. Place your palms on your left leg Contract your pelvic floor muscle, like to return the knee. Exhale, rising your bust from your belly up, helping with the palms. Stay here for a moment, relax your arms down. Exhale, send your arms up, palms together, chin slightly in, and look forward. And now try to have this adjustment of the pelvis. So your front leg is going to pull backward as your back leg wants to move forward. Keep your tailbone in, feel this nice stretch in the front part of your right thigh. Every time we are going to have this lunge, please make this adjustment. And then relax your arms down and release your left leg next to the right into the balasana pose, the child pose, but keep high into your balasana. Chin slightly in, then contract your pelvic floor muscle, exhale, lift yourself, pull yourself up to the alpha posture. And push a little bit more with your thumb and index, so your inner elbow are looking to, to one to each other. Inhale inward, your toes to the mat, come slightly backward. And on next exhalation, your knees are leaving the mat, belly in the direction of your thighs, make more space between your legs. Send your tailbone, send your sitting bones, excuse me, to the sky. Relax your head completely into the downward facing dog. So let's walk with this dog. First dog, you need to have some walk in the morning. Enjoy this stretch. When you stretch one leg, press more with the opposite hand to have more stability, to enjoy more this stretch. Great, then bend both of your knees, 
push with your hands so when you're coming down back to your all four posture we are in the same point and then on your next exhalation make space with your belly and send your right leg forward again left knee slightly in place your palms on your right leg right thigh contract your pelvic floor muscle exhale raise your bust up from the belly and up relax your arms down exhale again sending your arms up looking forward and contract your pelvic floor muscle exhale Try to make this adjustment between your legs. Now you are feeling the stretch in your back leg, in the front of your back leg. Great. Then release down your palms. Lift your left knee and step forward. Left to the right. In Uttanasana, folding forward. Keep your knee bended, belly on your thighs. Here we are. And then place your palms on your legs. Push with them. Stretch your back completely, lower a little bit your buttocks, and now send your arms to the level of your ears if you can. Contract your pelvic floor muscle, exhale, push strongly into your feet. Rising up, standing up, relax from the side, here now, and exhale. Exhale, arms are rising up, palm facing each other, so join your palm, inhale, and to the chest in your Prayer position. Exhale, inward your fingers, continue the movement slightly down and pass in front of your face. Open your elbows, don't throw your belly forward, inhale. Exhale, bend slightly your knees and your buttocks backward into the Ada Uttanasana. Place your palms on your legs. It's helping when you're pushing there, keeping your neck aligned. Push slightly with the back of your head up. Perfect. Then relax down. Uttanasana. Belly on your thighs. Your next exhalation, step backward with your left leg into your lunge. Here we are. Loop your shoulders back. Lower a little bit your buttocks if it's needed and push with this back heel in the direction of the mat. Then bend your left knee. Plant your left leg, your left foot and Inward slightly your left knee. Place your palms on your right leg. Contract your pelvic floor muscle. Exhale. Raise your bust up. Lower your palms. Exhale again. Arms up. Inhale and exhale. Sending your tailbone in. Adjusting your pelvis. Making this push and pull movement. And then relax your palms down to the side of your right leg and release your right leg backward. Balasana, the child pose. Glue your palms to the mat. Contract your pelvic floor muscle. Exhale, lifting yourself up. Your shoulders are far from your ears. Then push a little bit more with your thumb and index. Inward your inner elbow to each other. Inhale, inward your toes. Come slightly backward. Exhale, lifting your knees from the mat. Toward downward facing dog, making more space between your legs. You can have your uh, heels looking a little bit backward, uh, outward, excuse me, belly in the direction of your thighs. And again, walk your dog. Relax your head completely. You can check by making some yes, yes, no, no. To check, send your sitting bones to the sky. Your back is like a slide. Perfect. Then bend both of your knees. Push slightly with your hands so you're coming back down to your all four without moving forward. And then exhale to the most. Send your left leg to the front. And again, right knee, small adjustment. Palms on your left leg. Contract your pelvic floor muscle. Exhale. Rise your bust up. Lower your palms down. Inhale and exhale. Arms up. Look forward. Inhale and exhale. Send your tailbone in. Great. Place your palms again in the side of your front leg. Stretch your back leg and step forward right to the left. In Uttanasana, belly on your thighs. You can have straight knees if you are able to, but please, the most important thing is not to be here. Here you have a lot of loads and pressure on your back. Belly on your thighs. So, Again, place your palms on your legs, stretch your back completely, lower slightly your buttocks, 
As you bend your knees, send your arms to the level of your ears, contract your pelvic floor muscle, excellent, push onto those feet. To stand up, relax from the side. Inhale, exhale. Excellent, lengthen your spine. Inhale. Next exhalation, arms are rising up to the sky, palm facing each other, the palms together in a prayer position to the chest. Inhale. Exhale, invite your fingers, continue slightly down and pass in front of your face. Arms are back to your head. Open your elbows. Inhale. Exhale, bend your knees, send your buttocks backwards, keep your back completely straight and release your palms on your legs and push with them. Ada Uttanasana. Try to lower a little bit your back, maybe to stretch a little bit more your knees only if you can. Don't be here, please. And relax down. Uttanasana. Folding forward. On your next exhalation, step backward with your right leg into a lunge. You are going to twist to the left. So send your back buttocks forward and your front buttocks backward. Knee on top of your ankle. And then plant your right palm inward. Your elbow so it's looking to the inner part of your left leg. Keep your left knee on top of your ankle. And then begin your twist, helping with your left hand onto your external part of your left thigh. So twist barely and chest, and then turn your arms backward and up to the sky, and push with the palm that is on the mat. Try to reach the sky. Keep your back leg straight. A little bit more breeze there. Try to twist more, and then adjust again. Relax down, and step back to the plank, in less movement that you can. Shift your weight backward, turn your inner elbow, one to each other, scoop your tailbone in, chin slightly in, resist here, don't collapse, bend your knees, send your buttocks backward to the balasana pose, the child pose, inhale and exhale, blow your palms to the mat, and again pull yourself up to the alpha posture, keep your buttocks backward, and not on the line of your knees, then inward your toes, sending your buttocks backward, Inhale, and then on your next exhalation, we are moving to the downward facing dog. Make more space between your legs. And now try to stretch one leg. And the other one, maybe your heels are going to touch the mat. Maybe not, and this is completely okay. Please don't be here. Here, it means you need to bend your knees. Be patient. It will come on its own time. And now try to stretch one leg and the other one, sending the front part of, the, of your thighs backward, sitting more to the sky, press more with your thumb and index, relax your head completely, and then inhale, rise up on your toes, try to keep your back completely straight, relax your head, and then exhale to your heels again, inhale on your toes, and exhale on your heels. Inhale on your toes and exhale on your heels. Stay here and imagine you have a shell on your shoulders. A beautiful shell that you want to drop to your buttocks. So feel the difference into your shoulder. Great. Inhale, lift up your right leg and exhale, send it forward. Help with your palms to place your right foot in the front. If you can do it in one time, please do it and just giving some option here. So exhale again. Perfect. And one next exhalation, we're going to step forward. So exhale, don't rise your head up. Keep your neck long in the line and step forward. Relax down. Uttanasana. Folding forward, place your palms on your legs, push slightly, stretch your back completely. Your knees are still maybe a little bit bended, and it's okay. Send your arms to the level of your ears, contract your pelvic floor muscle, exhale, pushing strongly into your feet. Relax from the side, inhale, and exhale. Left side, lengthen your spine, inhale, exhale, arms are rising up, then place your palms together. Inhale back to the chest in a prayer position. Exhale, inward your fingers, sending slightly down and pass in front of your face. 
open your elbows, push slightly with the back of your head. Now, exhale, falling half of the way forward, sending your buttocks backward. Keep your back completely straight. Release your palms to your legs and push with them. Stretch your back completely. Maybe you can lower a little bit more than before with your bust. And then release down. Uttanasana, belly on your thighs. Folding forward. And your next exhalation, step backward with your left leg into the lunge. Now we're going to twist to the right. So first send your front buttocks backward and your left buttocks forward. Great. Chin slightly in, plant your left palm in front of your right leg. Inward in elbow and push with this hand. The right palm is on my right thigh and I'm helping me to twist. Be careful with these right buttocks because you want to move in your direction. <laughs> Mine. So stay here. Knee on top of your right ankle. Push with the back uh, heel in the direction of the mat. And twist. Belly and chest. Help with the right palm. This is completely okay to help here. And then push again the mat. And open your arms up. Push the mat and try to reach the sky. And again, try to make this adjustment with this front um, buttocks that want to move backward. Inhale and exhale, and then release back your right palm, sending your right leg backward to your plank. Don't collapse it to your plank. Don't be with your buttocks up and down, and don't collapse between your shoulder breast. Push the mat. Tailbone in, and then bend your knees, release down to the balasana pose, but keep high and active into your balasana, don't relax completely, Roll your palms to the mat, contract your pelvic floor muscle, exhale, pulling yourself up to the all four posture, keeping your buttocks slightly backward, inhale inward your toes, come backward a little bit, exhale again, moving to the Downward facing dog, making space between your legs. Again, try to stretch one leg and the other one. Check what's going on. Maybe it's easier now and maybe still not. So bend your knees if it's needed. And then again, try to send the front part of your thighs backward. Put more your thumb and your index. Relax your head. Send your buttocks to the sky, sitting bones to the sky. Inhale and exhale, of course, relax your head completely. And then on your toes, inhale, on your heels, exhale. On your toes, inhale, on your heels, exhale. Inhale up, exhale down. And now remember this shell, drop it to your buttocks. Great. And then inhale, left leg up and exhale. Moving forward, making space with your belly and helping with your palms if it's needed to move forward. Here we are. Again, loop your shoulders down. Next exhalation, step forward, right to the left. Relax down in Uttanasana. Then place your palms on your legs. Stretch your back completely. Here we are. Bend slightly your knees and your buttocks backward and moving to the same times with your arms to the level of your ears. So when my buttocks is moving down, my head is moving slightly up and the opposite, keeping a long line here. And then contract your pelvic floor muscle. Exhale, pushing the mat. Relax from the side. Inhale and exhale. Third and last round. If it's a little bit difficult, you can stay on the first round or the second one or make a mix. Choose what it's good for you and appropriate for you at the right moment. Let's begin. So here we are again. Contract your pelvic floor muscle, exhale, and lengthen your spine. Inhale, exhale, arms are rising up, palms facing each other, then join your palms to the chest, inhale. Exhale, inward your fingers, slightly down, and now pass in front of your face, open your heart, inhale. Exhale, bending forward, maybe now you can do it with your legs completely straight. Be very careful, we'll check if it's appropriate. Pushing slightly with the back of your head up. 
And if you're here, release now your palms on your legs and push into the Ada Uttanasana. If you, have, you are with your knees completely straight, try to inward your thighs a little bit. Shift your body more forward and then send your buttocks backward. So now your weight is in the middle of your feet. Then relax down, Uttanasana. And your next exhalation, step backward with your right leg. Keep high into your lunge. Now step forward a little bit with your back foot. But keep still your knee on top of your ankle. Lift your hands from the mat, interlace your fingers behind your back. Pushing strongly with your back heel. Make a line, having one line from the back of the head to the right heel. And then contract your pelvic floor muscle. Tailbone in, exhale. Rise your bust up. And again, try to have your both of the sides of your pelvis on the same line. Don't twist. Send your tailbone in. Lower your palms and reach up with your palms. Now, looking forward, if you want, you can also try to close your eyes for a moment. And again, send your tailbone strongly in. Keeping your front knee on top of your front ankle. So here your back is completely free of any pinch or pain. And then lower your palms to the mat. Step backward to your plank. Try to have less movement that you can. Don't rise your buttocks up too much. And then scoop your tailbone in, into your plank. Bend your knees. Send your buttocks backward to your palasana pose, the child pose. Contract your pelvic floor muscle, exhale, glue your palms, pull with them up to your alpha posture. And then we're going to have a cobra, according to the Dr. De Gasquet method. And that's when our pelvis is not going to touch the mat. So that's how we're going to do that. Bring your knees slightly in and send your legs to the side of your mat, flat your feet and your heel is slightly looking outward. Take your palms a few centimeters forward and your buttocks backward. Imagine you have the wall in front of you and this cobra wants to rise up without touching the wall. So here we are, contract your pelvic floor muscle, exhale, send your tailbone in, pubis is direct to the mat but not touching, and your chest is rising up and moving backward. Loop your shoulders backward, Ear what your inner elbow to each other, helping with the thumb and the index. Chin slightly in. Let's do it one more time. Bend from the same point again here. So, here we are. Knees slightly in. Buttocks backward a little bit. Contract your pelvic floor muscle. Exhale. Open your chest. Rise up. Don't touch the wall. Great. And if you are okay here, you can return as we did before or inward your toes and in one time, contract your pelvic floor muscle. Exhale. Send your buttocks up to the sky. <sighs> to the downward facing dog. Great. Perfect. Again, drop your shell from your shoulders to your buttocks. Send the front part of your thighs backward. Great. And then Right leg up, exhale, sending your right leg forward between your palms. Help if it's needed as we did before. And then exhale again, step forward, left to the right. Relax down in Uttanasana, belly on your thighs. And then press your palms on your legs and push. Stretch your back completely. Sending your buttocks backward, shifting your body forward. And again, buttocks backward. Great. Then Arms are rising to the level of your shoulders. If you can, with your knees completely straight, be very careful. Contract your pelvic floor muscle. Exhale. Push into those legs. And relax from the side. Inhale. And exhale. Contract your pelvic floor muscle. Exhale. Lengthen your spine. Inhale. Exhale again. Send your arms up to the sky. Palm facing each other. And join your palm. Inhale. Back to your chest. Exhale inward your fingers and slightly down and send them backward off your head. Open your elbows. Inhale. Exhale. Bending forward. You can keep your knees completely straight if you are okay here. 
release your palms to your legs push and shift your body forward and send your buttocks backward exhale and then relax down in Uttanasana belly on your thighs and then on your next exhalation step backward with your left leg keep high to your lunge lower your buttocks and your left heel back strongly loop your shoulders chin slightly in and then step forward with this left leg a little bit keep your knee on top of your ankle exhale release your arms interlace between your back find this one line from your back heel to the back of your head contract your pelvic plumb muscle exhale send your tailbone in when you rise your bust and keep your hips on the same line lower your palms and then arms up look forward or close your eyes you choose great and then relax release down your palms and step backward to your plank stay a little bit into this plank inward your inner elbow pushing more with the thumbs and the index shift your body backward tailbone in back of the head is pushing up and release to your balasana inhale and exhale next exhalation here again we are moving to our all four posture and then place your knees closer to the center but then don't touch open your legs to the side flat your feet your heels is looking slightly outward if you were okay here before so you can keep your palms on the same line if it was difficult bring your palms a little bit more forward so here we are move slightly backward with your buttocks contract your pelvic plumb muscle exhale open your chest don't touch your wall loop your shoulders backward chin slightly in tailbone scoop in all of the way here and then inward your toes exhale and send your buttocks to the sky into your downward facing dog <sighs> great inhale lift your left leg and exhale send your left leg forward between your palms inhale and exhale here and your next exhalation step forward right to the left relax down in uttanasana now place your palms on your legs straight your back completely pushing with the palms then turn your arms to the level of your ears contract your pelvic plumb muscle exhale push strongly into your roots relax from the side inhale and exhale close your eyes if you can place one hand on your chest and one in your belly relax your jaws keep your mouth slightly open breathe listen to your breath Listen to your heart. Listen to your blood circulation. Like the mountain, you can find strength, stillness, calmness, stability, confidence. All of those are in you. You just need to search in order to find. And that's what yoga is all about for me. Searching to find my stability, my stillness. Patanjali wrote, yoga is about stilling the turbulence of the consciousness. Open your eyes and lower your palms down. Exhale, your arms are reaching up to the sky. Join your palm in a prayer position and inhale to your chest. Thank yourself for the moment you have given to your body and to your soul. We had three different flows, not classic one in three different levels so you can find yourself in the first level maybe in three of them 
I hope you enjoyed the practice and if you did you can subscribe here to my channel and even give me a like. Hoping to see you soon. Have a great day and take care.